Okay, this is before our Chrysler 318 manifolds. Let's fire this curl up and see what it looks like after. All right, here's our initial spin on our Ops Rotation starboard side 318 for our 31 or 32 foot marionette, I should say. And pretty much the same. Uh, everything weighs the same because uh, we're, we're using the same Speed Pro steel power pistons, same Hastings rings, same Cleveland bearings and stuff. So everything is really close. So we're going to start drilling. All right, let's see how we did on our corrections here on our 318 opposite rotation. Oh, dead nuts on the front and almost dead nuts on the rear. So there you go. She's all balanced, ready to go. Okay, I want to cover another technical subject, um, the water pump orientation. Now, what I mean, this is the later one with the uh, recirc pump and the single pocket pump. All right, the dual pocket pump is similar. And what I want to talk about is what rotation, which way this pump has got to be indexed. All right, if you look at this pump, see how the inlet and outlet, all right, are not in the center. Okay, well, that's why there's a reason because obviously we got to pick up water. If we were in the center, you can do that because there's a uh, gland, all right, right there. So, on a right hand rotation engine or opposite rotation engine, the outlet and inlet face the inside of the engine. Okay, so obviously that's timing cover, that's the inside of the engine, that's the way the pump is needs to be orientated, all right, with the, the inlet and outlet towards the engine. Okay. And we've covered this before. How do I know it's an opposite rotation engine? It's got this spacer here for the distributor oil pump drive. Uh, so those are the couple of things. And we just talked about the alternator. You know, it's best to have a bi-directional fan installed. So uh, for a right-hand rotation, because again, this engine is going this direction. Okay. So, because this is the opposite rotation or right-hand engine. So. Fan there, water pump here. Like I said, same thing if it was a dual pocket. See the dual pocket, how it's off center? All right, that would also face, boom, in on an opposite rotation engine, which most single screw boats turn a right-hand propeller. There's some exceptions and some ski boats in that, but most single screw boats turn a right-hand propeller. So that means if you have a one-to-one, one, one and a half transmission, you are gonna be spinning a right-hand propeller, and if you're an old engine like this, you will have an opposite rotation engine as a single engine boat. So this applies uh, to a lot of boats. So the only time you have automotive rotation engines in old school boats like this is twin engine applications most generally. So just thought I'd show you that while we've got a good engine here to give you clarity without a bunch of hoses and stuff in the way.
Okay, another thing I want to go over is what we do to fix this leaky hose. I mean, this one isn't leaking, but since we're doing the engine, I always replace them. Uh, this has eighth inch NPT pipe. This side is solid, and this side swivels. Well, swivel pipe are hard to find in push lock. So what I do is I just cut a nine inch piece of quarter inch hose, put an eighth inch NPT on the push lock there, put a number four JIC female there, and a uh, quarter inch pipe to number four male nipple and a 90 degree JIC um, adapter. So that way it gives the hose plenty of room. Uh, the distributor, even the big DUI distributors, it doesn't hurt them. So um, just to get rid of this cheesy piece of junk. All right, we're getting close on our uh, opposite rotation 318 for the 32 Marinette. So let's see if we can get her primed up. Baby. Cool. I say let's fire it up. Okay, we're ready to fire this uh, Ops Rotation 318 up. Just with one last look, make sure it looks good. Distributor's in time. We're primed up. Looks really good. Hopefully, it runs really good. So let's be nice, uh, nice pair of engines for this uh, 32 Marinette. Should run really good. We got, we're switching it to one and a half gears. Get rid of the one to ones. We we'll put some bigger diameter props on it, and it should really make this thing get up and uh, fly. Even though it's only got 318. So let's fire it up.
Sounds great. Going on the boat, hopefully this week. Can't wait for the sea trial.